I did go ahead and take the pregnancy test. Sometimes Ellie does have accidents, so she just wet at her bed. Hello dear friends, welcome back to the Majestic Family Channel. My name is Jory, my lovely wife Biname is making up the bed. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and comment down below so we can stay in touch. Don't forget to like, share, and turn on your notification bell so you know when a new video comes out. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for joining us for our morning routine this morning. We wanted to give you guys a chance to see what we do first thing in the morning. So usually I make coffee for Bename and myself first thing in the morning before either of us work out. Expensive, the black and gold one with the like oh. circular thing. Oh, your mom guessed I spent $200. Oh. I said $24.99. Yeah, oh. the style doesn't have to be expensive, oh. but I think that's what I think that's what makes it like that's what girls want, you know. Like, mm -hmm. I'm wearing something that costs a lot of money, it, it's like a value placement kind of. Mm. You know what I mean? They're like, I'm just valuable. I can see, I, I understand that, but um, for me, it's more fashion. Yeah, I know, and that, yeah. that's cool. <laughs> it, but it, don't you think it is for some women? Like, yeah. it's not necessarily fashion, it's like... I, they just gotta know I wear I design. I have expensive stuff. Yeah. yeah. Which I guess if I look at it that way, then it, that it's easier for me to stomach the idea that stuff is <laughs> so expensive. What do you mean? Where it's like, the girl wants to feel valuable. Mm -hmm. And so when she's wearing something that costs a lot of money, it, it helps her feel valuable. Yeah, I mean, even when I, there are some shoes that I see and I'm just like, that's not cute. Or some purses, <laughs> there's a Dior bag. <laughs> There's a Dior bag and it looks like a, a like a weird heart shape. Uh -huh. 
it's like forty two hundred dollars, but I'm like, it's not that cute. Right. It, it's just cute because it says Dior. But <laughs> like, yeah, I don't know. I mean, and everybody's taste is different. Yeah. But like things like oh, that. Oh, I think a lot of them don't have taste. They just buy what's expensive. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I have to go upstairs and gather my belongings and then, and then head out. Oh, and this is the purse Jory's talking about right here that he likes. Mm -hmm. I like it. I think it's just so cute. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I got high socks on. I usually don't wear socks to the gym. It's just more comfortable, but I got it on this. Y'all, that's too cold. I do <laughs> not do the cold. <laughs> so we just have to suffer through these, okay? Mm -hmm. it's the, I still match, though. All right, guys. So today I'm doing push. I do um, I do push pull legs. Forget my peanut butter. <laughs> can you hold it for a second? Peanut butter spoon. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, mm -hmm. Can you help me grab some of this stuff? Yep. Uh, yesterday I forgot to take this to Walmart. This is something. Are you returning we, it? Yeah. Oh, those little box things. We bought storage for my for our um, what do you call it? Bench. The bench and the entry. Because I divided like hats, scarves, and yeah, gloves. Yeah, it's like a box bench. Yeah, and these were too big. Yeah. <laughs> and I keep forgetting to return them. You're going to have to open that door, the ref. Uh, I do this anyway. What? So why don't you open it all the way? What? The garage door? Yeah. I know, I don't want people looking at me when I'm like putting stuff in here. So oh, okay, I gotcha. Like, what you staring at, bro? Privacy. Have a good workout, sweetie. Thank you. You look good in your new whip, girl. Quit, quit, quit. <laughs> Long way. Is it going up? Now it's going up. Ah. See you later. Now what do I do? I press the brake. What? Brake and then, okay. Benjamin's on her way to the gym. I'm gonna head down, get my workout done so I can start school with the kids. All right guys, the gym work is done. I'm gonna head upstairs and get the classroom ready for the kids. They should be in there any minute. All right guys, I'm here at my gym. It is currently something, time something. <laughs> 5.44, I usually, um, yes. I usually try and get here by 5.30. Um, why is this not focusing? Yeah, I usually try and get here by 5.30 just so I can kind of beat the rush a little bit. I'm not sure what workout I'm doing today. Uh, I'm going to have to switch to my phone because I don't want to carry this big camera <laughs> in there. But um, yeah, let me see what. Depending on if I slept well. If I slept well, I will go ahead and tackle legs. Legs are a bigger muscle group. So I need all the strength and energy I can get. I'm sure you guys saw Jory working on his. Um, I should actually be doing this first day, so I'm really supposed to be doing legs, and I'm sitting here debating if I want to tackle legs today, okay? Let's just be real. <laughs> um, I think I might. I don't feel too bad. Uh, it's them lunges, boy. Woo! <laughs> that takes a lot out of me. You know what? We're gonna do legs, but we're gonna do um, focus more on glutes and hamstrings we're gonna do that we're gonna do legs but I'm gonna do my day four exercise instead of my day one uh, what did I want to tell you guys oh I just had my pre meal workout usually it's a banana and a peanut butter or it can be avocado and a protein bagel um, or today I'm doing rice cake and peanut butter so I just had this is my third one that I have to eat before I get in there. It's the caramel kind. It's actually pretty good. And I got my coffee here that Jory made me. 
and I gotta drink a little bit of, of that and then I'm gonna go inside. Hey guys, good morning. Bename's already headed off to go work out. Uh, she got up and got ready and I made some coffee and um, actually teaching school now. We start pretty early. Uh, we do our school uh, six in the morning. I get the kids up and if they're not already up, they do a couple quick chores and then we head to the classroom. Uh, this way we can get an early start before Ellie wakes up and she's running all over and can actually focus on some math and reading, science, history, spelling, uh, you name it, Right, handwriting, I can't think of all of them. <laughs> we got a ton of subjects we go through, English language. and So anyway, um, I'm up with the kids and um, we're working in the classroom. So uh, they usually do pretty well without a lot of extra instruction. I told them this year they need to get better at looking through their lesson and doing a little more self-teaching. Uh, with homeschool, you're, you're kind of working them more towards independent learning uh, because if they go on to higher education, like in the university, that is a skill you, um, you should have. And I think that's a weakness that a lot of students have when they go into that realm. So anyway, this year, I still, I still lecture a little bit, but um, they're supposed to read their lesson and see if they can figure it out. So they're busy working in there. Uh, ben and May will be back before too long. and. We'll get the rest of our morning going. Proof reading. Proof. J Ben. Proof reading. Correct letter form. Yeah. What does that mean? Can you show me? Okay. Who's <clears throat> correct letter form? Correct letter form. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, the form of, are you writing a letter? No. I mean, yeah. Okay, yeah, so that's letter. what they mean. So, the form of a business letter. So make sure you look at the example they gave of the business letter. <laughs> okay. Might be a couple lessons previous. Are you drafting I'm today? Here. No, uh, proofreading. Proofreading, okay. So look back where they showed you how to draft and make sure you're your business letter has the same form that they taught you about. Okay. Okay, there should be a certain way you write it. A certain outline, a oh, certain yeah. flow, a certain emphasis. What is the first paragraph, second paragraph? Probably have an intro and a body and a conclusion. Make sure it has the, the same business letter form. Yes, sir. That's what they're asking for. You thought they meant like letter A, B, C, D? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I thought you said at first too. Yeah, but they're yeah. saying like, it's not a personal letter, it's a business letter, so that form. Okay, so... It's the four P's. Precise wording, polite tone, plain facts, proper form. There you, you go. you think I have that? I haven't looked it over, but you need to check through point I by point. Look so. at the way they outline their letter too. Not just those things, but see if you have the same... Like, does it look similar okay. to the way they told you to make it? Do you have the address in the right place? Do you have your name and the, um, the salutation in the right place? Okay, so... You know what, I think it would actually be deeper where I could find what I'm looking for. Oh, yep, I found it, okay. Me taking the pregnancy test vlog is definitely, uh, God willing, <laughs> is going to go up on Thursday. So, um, yeah. Thank you guys again so much. I really appreciate it. Um, your prayers don't go unnoticed or like, I mean, I, I felt it. Just know that I felt a sense of um, peace and, and, and joy. Uh, like once people started praying that or, or knew I wasn't feeling well. So thank you so, so very much. With that, dear friends, keep looking up.